It's your boy Akeem and welcome to the today's blog here to give you a preview of the Indiana Hoosiers for the 2017 college football season last year Indiana did go seven six and seven overall losing in their bowl matchup at the final game of the season in the farmers Foster's Farm Bowl against the Utah Utes. Now, they're actually starting off the season with bad news. They no longer have their head coach and Kevin Wilson, who actually signed an extension at the end of last season uh, that ended his uh, his contract up to two, 2021, but then decided to part ways from the team because he had some disputes with his players, including one particular player who had a back injury in which he forced his player to enter uh, back into a game, which is a big no-no, so he actually decided to part ways and join the Ohio State Buckeyes. So it enters new um, uh, head coach and Tom Allen, who was the previous defensive coordinator for the Hoosiers. Now, speaking of their defense, they actually have nine returns starters in the defensive unit included in their middle linebacker and uh, to gray scales who led the team with 123 tackles with seven sacks which is great news for them and they also have the return of a couple of key players in the offensive line and greg couch nate hoff and jacob robinson who all have some great experience now um, as, as far as other players in the, um, the defensive unit that is some good news is their secondary and they have some high hopes for improvement in and them and Marcelo Ball, Rashad Fant, Jonathan Crawford, and um and Ashan of Wiggins, who all have some great experience and they're looking to improve this upcoming season in Big Ten play, um, which they, they did so a little a couple of good plays last season, but still struggled overall. But I do see some improvement this upcoming season. And the offensive unit that led by quarterback and Richard Legal, who's looking to improve as well this upcoming season, who had 3,300 yards passing, 19 touchdowns, and 17 interceptions. He had committed a lot of turnovers because of poor decision making especially with the great receivers that they had in that team I expected a lot better from him this up um, um last season and they're gonna have to play without a couple of wide receivers including one of their top receivers in Ricky Jones who's no longer with the team but they still have the return of Simi Cobbs who did lead the team with over a thousand yards and Nick Westbrook who's a good uh, speedster at receiver so that's a couple of great news but uh, um some up uh, some more bad news for the offensive unit they actually have to play without their their top player in Dan Feeney who's no longer with the team he was drafted in this past NFL draft but they do have some youngsters in Coy Cronk um, Hunter Little John and Simon um, Stepaniak who are all um, um, sophomores entering this upcoming season now they do have the loss of Divine uh, Redding who was their leading rusher last season he did rush for over a thousand yards but they um they, he actually is no longer with the team so Mike Mayjay is definitely looking to step up this upcoming season at as the premier running back and look out for Cole just to have some um, experience some um, um, carries as well at the running back position now if you take if we take the time to take a look at their um schedule this upcoming season I think they have a great opportunity to make it back into bowl contention now let's start actually I'm um, start off with their first game um, of the season um, for this upcoming year they actually um, have the, a game against uh, excuse me for a second the Ohio State that is going to be very interesting and I think that even though they have the home field advances that is already going to start off the season off with an L the Buckeyes is coming off of a college football playoff appearance last season next week is going to be the next week on September the 9th is going to be at Virginia that should be a, a, that can be an opportunity to have a victory on um, the first victory of the season FIU is in the um, September 16th September 23rd against Georgia Southern and at Penn State um, on September uh, 30th. That is going to be a good game for you guys to watch, but I think the Nittany Lions will pull off a victory at that. Another uh, good game should be um, at home hosting the Michigan Wolverines 
for homecoming. Now, I think this could be a, a upset alert for Michigan because this is a rebuilding team, particularly on the defensive side for the Wolverines. So the Indian Hoosiers can pull off the upset. October 21st is going to be at East Lansing against the Spartans. They did beat the Spartans last season, as well as the Maryland Terrapins, who had who they had to face on October 28th. November the 4th is going to be at Wisconsin. This is going to be a smash mouth hard football team to face against. The um, Badgers should pull off the victory. November the 11th is going to be at Illinois. I think they can pull off a win with that for the Hoosiers. Same for November uh, November 18th and November 25th against Rutgers. And rounding up the season on the 25th against um the Purdue Boilermakers. I think they could pull off a victory with that as well. Now, I do see this team pulling at least six victories, getting back into bowl contention this season um, for um, Tom Allen, but I think they could keep, pull off seven wins. Really, it's all in the shoulders of Richard Legau. He needs to step it up and make better decisions for this upcoming season, and I do wish the best for them because they actually do have a new uh, offensive coordinator in Mike uh, uh, DeBoard, who's who's entering his first season as OC for the Hoosiers. So it's a little bit of a, of a new learning curve for Richard Legal, but I think he, I wish him the best for him. I think he can pull off seven victories, um, lead the team to seven victories for this upcoming season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be later on this week in which I will continue with more previews of the Big Ten Conference. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall.